and the price at the pump takes another jump. Mm -hmm. the gas prices shot up by 14 cents in the past two weeks, and it's not stopping there. So the national average price for regular gas now sits around $2.64 a gallon, climbing 46 cents since November of last year. According to the Lumberg survey, prices will likely continue to rise as crude oil costs remain high. All right, so some people are wondering what's behind these high prices, right? And rumors online are pointing to an executive move from the president, Biden, of course, to block the Keystone XL pipeline. But is that true? Evan Kosloff with our Verify team is here to separate fact from fiction. Gas prices have been on the rise lately. Gas Buddy reporting an increase to the national average of seven cents in a week and 17 cents in a month. On social media, some are wondering if the executive order from President Joe Biden to revoke the permit for the Keystone XL pipeline is responsible. So let's verify. What is this pipeline and is this decision causing gas prices to increase in the short term? Our sources are Patrick DeHaan from Gas Buddy and Mark Finley from the Center for Energy Studies at the Baker Institute at Rice University. So let's start with the details. Here's a map of the whole project provided by TransCanada, the company building the pipeline. The solid line is already built and that dotted line is what would be the XL pipeline. This is a major pipeline that would carry Canadian crude oil to Cushing, Oklahoma, where much of the nation's crude oil is stockpiled. So what are the impacts on gas prices in the short term? I don't think this decision is likely to cause higher oil prices now. Our experts say that there's a lot at play here, but the big factor is that the pipeline just wasn't done yet. So this decision doesn't affect the current supply. Pipeline that is not finished, that was never fully realized, does not make as much of an impact as, say, shutting a key artery that's been flowing for years and years. So what is causing the gas prices to rise? The COVID is in the driver's seat. Our experts say that ever since the pandemic hit, demand for gasoline has taken a nosedive. But now that states and cities are opening up, demand is starting to rise. The big message from Finley is that the rise and fall of gas prices is less about any one White House policy and more about fluctuations in the global oil market. It's more about the global balance of supply and demand. So we can verify that no. Our experts say that these rising gas prices are not the result of the XL pipeline decision. With your Verify, I'm Evan Kozlov.